Yo, what is up, you guys? So, in my last video with Jack, the Marmoset, I had quite a few people in the comments asking for an update. The update is he's literally taking a shit right now in my hand, almost. I was gonna go do it somewhere else because I disturbed. Oh, that's disgusting. So, I just went and cleaned that off real quick, but as you can see, he is not diaper trained like he should be. When I try to diaper him up, he kind of bites the shit out of me and like freaks out, so that's why. Jack, can you come up here so that they can see you? He is down there on my leg. Come here. So, as you can see, he has gotten a lot bigger. This is him, uh, almost fully grown. He's like six months old now. Um, he's still very like jumpy and like he nibbles, it's not really biting, uh, but he does it like so often that it's like even when I'm pedaling, pedaling, even when I'm petting him and he's kind of just like cuddling, he's still kind of nibbling at me. Apparently, it was a habit that I was supposed to break, or slash still can break, but it's just like to do so, you have to like grab him and like hold him in like this little choke. Obviously, you're not choking them, you're just like preventing them from moving their head around to where they can grab you, and you have to do that. The breeder said until they give in. So it's like a dominance thing because he thinks he's in charge. Right, Jack? You think you're fucking in charge of this place? <laughs> there he goes. So, apparently, okay, I'll just show you guys real quick. If I can't, okay, no, he's not gonna let me. <laughs> but you do that, but that's the thing, is that when you do that, they really freak out, um, and then you have to kind of fight it. So yeah, then you're supposed to kind of fight them on it until um, they stop trying to bite you, and that can take, she said that can take anywhere from like 30 seconds to five minutes, and I've done it for 30 seconds before, and he, he was not giving up, so. I'm feeling with him, I'm gonna have to go the full five minutes. So she was like, yeah, get ready, get like some garden gloves on and just like shit that made me not want to try it at all. Like I feel like I was gonna lose a finger. I'm not trying to scare anyone out of getting a marmoset, just um, trying to let you guys know what you're getting into. Um, so very like flighty, jumpy animals. Um, they do like to chill out and relax and cuddle sometimes. But I would say like 80% of the time, they're like that. He is chilling on the little ledge thingy I have from my loft upstairs. The first time he did that, actually, I was losing my mind. I was like, oh my god, you're going to fall to your death calling the fire department and stuff. But um, then I remembered that he is a monkey. And that's what they do best. They like climb stuff and, and, and hang from things. And probably also if I was to include another best um, attribute... Um, shitting and pissing everywhere. Isn't that right, Jack? He has actually decided to join me up here for a second, so I will take advantage of that. Jack, do not climb. What is going on? So they get into everything, like literally, whatever they can get their hands on or wherever they can jump to, they're gonna be there. So keep, okay, dude, like, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Prime example. Um, they like to just like, they're very inquisitive, um, curious animals. So they get into everything and anything. And also the same goes for like eating stuff that they can like fit it in their mouth, be it like plastic or like shit they're not supposed to eat, like veggie chips, I eat veggie chips and he'll always steal them from me or like take some from the bag when I'm not looking or like brownies or cookies or anything like that. Um, obviously I take them back from him, but sometimes I feel a little sad for him because he works so hard to acquire it. So I give him just like a little tiny piece. They do get into any and everything. As I said, Jack, get off there. That is not meant for you. That is Ikea lamp. It is very cheap and it will break. Um, so, okay. Sorry. My apartment's like really messy. I'm like stepping on water bottles and stuff here. Um, but in terms of free time... I personally give him like probably around five or six hours just out um, in the day. You don't necessarily have to do that. Um, but the less you let them out, probably the bigger their cage should be. Um, so if you're only going to let them out for like two or three hours, which I would say is like minimum should be two hours a day. Um, their cage should be like lavish with a lot of toys and all that kind of stuff for them to play with. Um, next up, food. What do they eat? So first like three-ish months is pretty heavy on the formula. Um, it's just baby formula mixed with like some little banana pudding and some rice oatmeal stuff. Mostly all from Gerber or Infamil. Um, and so 
when you start weeding them off of it, you start introducing like a little bit of fruits and veggies um, and just like harder foods for them to eat, like sugar, snap peas, um, watermelon, blueberries, grapes, and stuff like that. They also very much like sweet potato. So um, I, I'm not gonna say that your grocery list is gonna be like anything too crazy, like, cause they don't eat that much. So whatever you buy for them will last you a long time. It's not too expensive. They also like bread and pasta and rice and, and those kind of things. So um, you will have to spend some time like prepping their meals most likely, especially if you're doing stuff like the sweet potatoes and the rice and the, and the pasta, because all those things have to be cooked. On top of that, he also gets like a lot of my leftovers because I eat very like clean most of the time, not to brag or anything, but I do. So he gets a lot of my, um, leftovers so it makes it pretty easy this is also the go-to like supreme marmoset diet but honestly i tried it and it tasted like shit no i'm kidding i didn't try it but i tried giving it to him and he didn't like it like at all whatsoever he would like smell he would smell it i don't know what's wrong with my speaking today um he would just smell it and like start sneezing on it and then he would like back away in disgust i'd never seen him more disgusted about eating something in his life. I guess we could do like a brief pros and cons overview. So one pro is I guess they're very unique pets like no other pet you've had before unless you've had like a squirrel. They're also very flighty and fidgety and jumpy and have these long um, furry tails. Another pro is, oh, okay, girls. You get so many girls when you have a monkey, just post it on your Instagram and your DMs are full of girls who are like, Oh my god, I want to come see your monkey. And you're like, oh my god, I want to see you. And then they're like, okay, bet, uh, let me come over. And then you're like, okay. And they come over, and when they come over, you're like, oh, sorry, it's a little bit late. Jack went to sleep already, but like, you're already here. Like, we can still chill. And then she's like, oh my god, I guess you're kind of cute too. So yeah, I guess I'll stay. And you just put on a movie. And then I don't need to say what happens from there, okay? So <laughs> there's that pro of having a monkey. But yeah, like they are just like very intelligent and just the way that like they look at you and you know that they're thinking um, like an actual person. I'm not talking about the girl. I'm not talking about the girls anymore. I'm talking about Jack or Marmoset in general. They are very intelligent. They will like look at you in your eyes and like turn their heads and like they will say things with their eyes to you like a person almost, um, which is very cool. Um, I like it a lot. Um, but... Honestly, in like my honest opinion, the cons list a little bit bigger. Um, they are pretty hard to care for um, and maintain time-wise the time you give them. I would not say that it has to be that way for everyone, um, but just like the amount of time and care that goes into owning a marmoset, um, that's a con that everyone is going to have, I guess. It doesn't have to be a con, obviously. Uh, I'm just saying from like a from a from an objective standpoint, typically um, time and, and effort and those things are considered cons uh, in the pet industry. Um, but also he like shits everywhere, which it doesn't have to be that way, but the alternative is a diaper, which I would have to change um, all the time anyway. So I don't know how that would make it better for me. Um, they, they can bite a lot. Uh, once again, that is an issue that seems like it can be fixed through the proper upbringing of them um, and disciplining, which I just like failed to do because he was so cute. And then anytime I would discipline him, he would get like really mad. I'm like, oh my God, please don't hate me. Um, but apparently you just have to stick it through. I'm probably gonna start trying to do it soon enough. Maybe I'll make a whole series about taming Jack the Marmoset. And then they just like get into all this sorts of shit, start eating random stuff off the ground. Um, and yeah, but, so I wouldn't say they make great pets, to be honest, like my honest opinion. I just want you to know what you're getting into. It's not to the point where I would like ever want to get rid of him. It's just like, I just want other people to know because I can see how other people would get a marmoset and then realize shortly afterwards that they- I would just like advise other people to know what you're getting into. Like I have all the time in the world, which is why it makes him an okay pet for me. And in the end, it is more of a rewarding experience. Like the, the few moments of the day I get with him just like chilling and letting me pet him and stuff. But if you're looking for a pet that's always like nice and cuddly and like is gonna 
Like if you're thinking like a monkey, oh my God, I'm gonna train it to do so much shit. Marmosets are not the smartest monkeys to begin with. So good luck with that. You're gonna have to get a bigger one uh, with a bigger brain probably like a spider monkey or a capuchin. And those ones, ones you're gonna have like much bigger problems with like rearing and raising. Um, just because those ones can go wrong so much more easily than a marmoset. Like a marmoset on bad behavior is fine. A capuchin or a spider monkey on bad behavior is probably gonna mean like you end up in the stitches or in the hospital with stitches or your like neighbor gets bit and like you have to put the monkey down. So kind of sad ending to um, this cute little video of Jack. But that will be all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any other um, comments or questions or topics you want me to cover in the comments and I will try to answer them in the next video. Okay, bye. Actually, I wanted to finish off the video on a little bit more of a positive note. So I brought Jack outside to chill. He's in a little bit more of like a chill mode now. Uh, kind of just mellowing out in the sun outside in my apartment complex. Um, if he will come out of the shirt, I can show you guys. There he is, chilling down there. But yeah, so I just got back from the gym a little while ago. One of the only few places I go to in the day. Um, and that's when I'll put him up, but now it's time for him to eat. After he's done chilling over here, Jack, come up here. Come up, come up over here. Come here. Aw, you all right, buddy? There he is. There's the real Jack. There's the Jack I know. Um, but yeah, so positive note. This is the other side of the marmosets. The, it's a little bit more rare for them to be like that in my opinion. But they can be and it makes it all the more worth it to have one. So that's about it. I'll catch you guys in the next video.